I'm back in the road, everybody. I went to Dallas to do that Jack in the Box food review. Loved it. Apparently, y'all liked it too. Y'all left some good comments down below in the previous videos. And thank you for the support. What's going on, Piglet? It's your BFF, Big Bird here, coming at you with my third official food review. As you can see, Colin decided to keep me on. Thanks, Colin. I earned you like a dollar with that last video, so I'm not even put a dollar, probably like 50 cents. So, you're welcome. I am here at Arby's here on Western, here in Emerald. I'm back in Emerald, everybody. I went to Dallas to do that Jack in the Box food review. Loved it. Apparently, y'all liked it too. Y'all left some good comments down below in the previous videos and thank you for the support we are here to try the new the new meatball it smells really good you can see you got the cheese in there you got that mmm look at that provolone the marinara it's not very much sauce it doesn't look like to me it looks like pretty much plain meatball so we'll have to find that out then we got some Good old fashioned curl fries. I really love their fries. It's classic for me. We used to have one of these like a block from our school, Emerald High, and they had this thing called the Sandy Special, which was like a fry drink and a sandwich for like three bucks or something. Great. You know what we got on our cup, everybody. Stay with me. Mm, that's the good stuff. Come at you live. 3D. Really? Aww. It didn't want to blow. <laughs> Try this again. Come at you live, 3D. Boom! Got it. Mm. That's good stuff. A few things. It's just not cold. There's literally no ice in this thing at all. Either they barely put any ice in it and the tea was a little warm when it came out and it melted, or they just don't like me. If it was cold, I'd have no problem, but it's warm. They did give me napkins this time. Last time I had to use my receipt and I look like a freaking weirdo. The last time I did get some sauce from Jack in the Box on my shorts and that was kind of nasty. So I'm going to spread out napkins for me because I don't want that to happen again to everybody. I guess I put the marinara sauce as you see kind of be I guess behind the meatball but there's not a, very much which could be a good thing could be a bad thing. Could not have much taste or it's just enough taste it's not a very it's not a mess so that's good. I hope you did. Let's get in. Bon appetit. Oh, not bad. There's the inside of the meatball. Interesting looking. Looks like a meatball, I guess. I don't know. I like it so far. Okay, pros and cons, everybody. Pro one. It's good. It is presentable. I like it's not. There's not sauce flowing everywhere, which is nice. I hate having sauce flow everywhere. That sounds weird. But that's pro number one. No sauce flowing everywhere. Number two, good flavor. You can really taste the uh, sauce mixed with the cheese. Not too high on this, so I'm only going to give it two pros. Time for the cons. Which I got a few. The meatball is very bland. Cheese is very rubbery. Sauce kind of tastes just like oregano sauce, I guess. It does not beat Subway. I'm just going to say that right now. It does not touch Subway's. Subways is better. Subways you can add stuff more than just cheese and meat. You got your marinara meatball one from Arby's here. Subways still crushing it. It's price, my friends. Eight dollars and thirty-two cents for that nonsense. I give this one a six out of ten. It's just it's good, but it's very very bland. There's no unique taste to it. What's your favorite thing from Arby's? Do you agree with my rating? Maybe not. You probably love this thing, and I'm probably just weird. Really. What's your favorite thing? Leave it down in the comments below. Tell us how we did. Keep giving me feedback. I love doing these food reviews. I'm this, this is number three, so Colin left me a little playlist in his YouTube video, so I'm here to stay. Be sure you follow Colin on Facebook, Vine, Twitter, and Snapchat. All those links will be down in the description down below. Colin's Mario playthrough should be coming up in about a month or so, I think. That's the insider information you told me. Our uh, pick em videos will be coming up in the very first week of football. Can't. I'm so excited. We just had our draft this past week. I'm so excited. But until next time, Colin Porchop and Big Bird love you all the most. I'll tell you these boys and girls. Everybody.